people love expressing themselves through art be it through music writing filming editing drawing or dancing whatever all of us have something to say and there are infinite ways for us to say it personally i express myself by drawing stuff in my previous video i had described that i can't really articulate my thoughts through words there's always something missing something that's not quite right you know however drawing kind of fills that void i feel that whenever i draw i can capture my thoughts at that time for instance there was this time when i really wanted to travel stuck in my house in the rut of online classes i just wanted to go somewhere so i googled wanderlust and flipped through a few links and landed on a website where i saw a photo of gwalior fort i didn't even know which fort it was then all i knew was that i just wanted to be there and explore the fort inside out instantly i sat down to draw now looking back on the drawing i know that i could never write anything that could fully capture my desire of being there however this drawing can i've always loved to draw when i was 10 i would go to art classes where my teacher introduced me to jamini roy's paintings i had liked them so much that i made one myself paintings like his are expressionist paintings instead of capturing the subject articulately they focus on reflecting the emotions of the artist and the subject more than the meaning behind the paintings i really enjoy the expressionist style so i started hunting for other expressionist artists and stumbled upon andy warhol born and raised in pittsburgh Andy Warhol was an artist, film director and producer. He was most famously known for his contributions to pop art. As the name suggests, pop art involved capturing imagery that was extremely popular and available to the masses. This was a jab at fine art and the art of the elite. His most famous paintings include Campbell's Soup Cans and Marilyn Diptych. It was the Marilyn Diptych that had caught my eye because I knew that I could never recreate the art style that he used. But then it hit me. Maybe I could try using filters to achieve this on some photos. However, I didn't like the results that those filters produced. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and try to create a filter that would give the same Warhol results. Here's what I did. Step 1, I downloaded Python. Step 2, I searched for an image that I wanted to work on. Step 3, I searched for ways to get a sketch out of an image. Step 4, I found some code that would help me do the job. Step 5 I did what all developers would do and copied that code. Step 6 I'll actually explain this properly. At this point the program takes an image as an input and gives something resembling a pencil sketch as an output. This sketch is created by plotting an array of pixels. These pixels are created by converting our colored image into a black and white image and then applying a gaussian filter to that. After some fancy computer science stuff we get a numeric representation of how dark each pixel is. That's all we need for step 6. Step 7 From here I went to Seaborn. Seaborn allows us to color coordinate our continuous and discrete functions that is it allows us to map colors to certain values. In essence this would be a filter. And voila we got the fancy filter photo. Step 8 I downloaded all the photos. Step 9 I created a collage of the images and finally step 10 I gave it a fancy name. Presenting to you. <coughs> Pretentious dude applies strange filters on the Eiffel Tower. I hope you liked this, and maybe you could use these filters to create your own pop art. I've attached all the resources that I've used in the description to make it easier for you all. I hope you really liked the video. See ya.